Hey Changu, hey Mansa. Really glad that you guys were able to join me on this call. Um, I wanted to, us to just uh, take a little moment and in, I wanted to take this moment to introduce you guys to uh, the people who are watching the International Women's Day event videos. And um, a little backstory so that everyone understands. I joined Intuit February last year. And while I was at Intuit, um, this girl said, you came up to me. This girl comes up to me and she goes, I hear you're from Zambia. And I'm like, oh my God, yes. So I found a fellow Zambia at Intuit um, in London. And then during lockdown, um, a new person joined the company. And I saw on my LinkedIn this name, Mwansa Chombe. I was like, mm -mm, this one is a Zambia. <laughs> so I sent her a message and I was like, I, I don't care whether you like it or not, but I'm contacting you because you're clearly Zambian. So um, for me, it was really important to find like some fellow Zambians because I've never worked in a place where there's a, another Zambian, I have to be honest. So finding you guys, being able to get to the has just <laughs> been amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Love great. it. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's so been good great. to uh, connect with you guys. Um, Mwansa, I thought let's start with you because you're, you're sort of newer and you joined us during lockdown. What was the experience for you? What was like job hunting like and then getting the job? How did everything pan out for you? Oh, job hunting was actually quite hard uh, during the pandemic, as you can imagine. The time I was looking to move from my last company, there weren't many jobs going on at the moment. So um, I still did apply to as many as I could and the way I came across into it actually was through um I didn't know I applied absolutely had no idea I was applying to many jobs on LinkedIn so by the time somebody got back Graham Pop and said oh we want to interview I was like who are they and then I checked out the company I was like oh it's actually a big stuff I landed in the good hands so that was great um I interviewed and then I realized when I joined the company you reached out to me Tanya actually this is quite a funny one so I joined at the back end of October on the 27th like oddly on a Tuesday and Tanya reached out to me I was two hours into the role and she went hi I realized you're Zambia and I thought I'd let me reach out no one had reached out I was like who is this woman she is so hyper I'm loving it so that was great and I was like oh my god I've never worked anywhere in the UK and met any Zambian besides myself so that was very nice I knew I could I had someone who who would understand me somebody who understands the culture I never imagine myself speaking Bamba on like Slack. I thought, well, it's gonna be lit over here. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little bit about me and my onboarding experience. Fantastic. And Chango, how long have you been here and what's been your experience of Intuit and you know finding other Zambians? <laughs> Well, to be honest, it's slightly different from you guys because I feel like I'm a fossil now because, you know, both of you have kind of like, you know, jumped on at the at the beginning of the pandemic, whereas with me, I joined the company in 2016. And at the time, not only were there no Zambians, but even just the amount of black people in the company was really minimal. Like, you know, then that, that time we were like working in the office. So we had the privilege of being able to walk around and observe, you know, different teams and, and colleagues and stuff. And it was very, very... It was weird because, you know, it was literally spot the black person. So I've always felt like even though I made the effort to, you know, network and make friends in different teams, there wasn't really that sense of, okay, um, I, I know this person, you you know, like I can actually build that rapport with this person and have that outside of work kind of relationship with them. So when, you know, I remember a colleague, uh, Itai, who's now left the company, Zimbabwean guy he came up to me he goes you know you're always complaining that there's not enough black people in this company you know I've just met a lady she's Zambian I believe I was like my eyes just peeled I said what what did you say not only is she black so for me it was it was just I was grateful just to have another black person in the company but when he mentioned that you know Tanya was black I stormed to her desk straight away I was like I don't care how uncomfortable it makes her I remember I just walked up to your desk and I was like con 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 and, you know, we've got like this open plan desks, you know, I literally knocked on the side of the desk. I was like, oh, sorry. I, I, I actually said Audi, didn't I? Yes, I, was, I was trying to, yeah, I was trying to, <laughs> test, I was trying to test like how Zambian she was. So now go, 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 Audi. And she looked up and she was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, I hear you're Zambian. And she goes, yeah, you know, at that time, she's very much in her, you know, professional demeanor. Like, yes, I am. And I was like, oh, I know, you know, I'm Zambian here. We broke off looking to Bemba. We laughed. 
And then it turns out she knew my aunt, you know, my aunt Sophie. And then we spoke about, you know, her work with my aunt. And it was just amazing to connect. And for me, you know, obviously I can imagine the challenges you guys have faced in terms of like the virtual onboarding and stuff and not being able to connect with people. But for me, it was just great. And those kind of opportunities would have happened if it was a virtual experience like you've had experienced, you know, once. But yeah, that's that's my story in meeting my tribe at work. You know, so what was it like when you found out about Mansa? Because that was when you found out about me. But then when you found out. About oh, Mansa is a whole different story. I think. I, OK, correct me if I'm wrong here, Mansa. How long did it take before I reached out? Because I think I was commenting on your LinkedIn post as well. Like I was stalking her the minute. I think it was Clinton who mentioned that, oh, we've got a new black uh, girl who's starting with us. And at the time we were recruiting for our African Ancestry Network at into it. So I checked her out and I was like, what? Mwansa, Chop, she's Zambian. I didn't, there was no questions asked. The name, I was like, well, you know, she's Zambian. I reached out to her via Slack and I was like, hey, sis, welcome to Intuit. Glad to have you on board. Just introduced myself. And I think from there, we just kind of, we just hit it off really, didn't we? And then before I knew it, I was in a group chat with Tanya and Mwansa. <laughs> Because I was like, okay, now we need to do our Zambian network ourselves. So we did this three-way conversation and we had like, a, a God, such an intense, like giggly chat. It was crazy. It was so much fun. Um, but no, I just wanted to say hi to you guys like this so that people can get a perspective of like, you know, how COVID has impacted a work environment as well. Um, Changa, what's been the big challenge that you've faced during this time? What's been the thing that's really stood out for you in that sense? Oh gosh, there's been so many challenges, if I'm being honest with you. I'd be lying if I said it was smooth sailing. But one of the biggest ones for me has been balancing work and home because I've got two small children. You know, I've got an eight-year-old who I've had to homeschool and I've also got a three-year-old, Konganda. So it's like being able to separate work time and home time is so difficult when you're working from home because my work ethic is quite extreme. I'm on the workaholic side of things. So for me, I'm one of those people like, you know, back then in the office, if things weren't finished on that day, I'll just take it on the chin and it, 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 tomorrow's another day and you come in and you do your job. Whereas at home, there's times I find myself working up until 11 o'clock at night because I'm just like, I want to get things done. I want to get things done because, you know, that mindset of just wanting to finish is, you know, my issue. And that's been the biggest challenge for me. And I can see it's actually affecting my kids, you know, mm -hmm. Because now for them, they just identify mummy as mummy works all the time. They, they've just accepted that mummy works all the time. I'm in this little corner. I don't even really have like an office per se in the house, you know, because living in London, the joys of, of having no space. But I'm in this corner in my house. And, you know, they just know that that's mum's side. You know, don't touch anything on the desk. Don't go there. And I feel sad, you know. Yeah. And that's that's been like my biggest challenge, even though there's plenty of other things going company been in, in you know because obviously having children and balancing your work I mean companies need to be at least a little bit flexible in understanding those sorts of um, issues what have they been like, like well for me having to deal with sick children and being like guys I need to go like you know um, yeah are you able to be flexible with your working hours or absolutely I think my company, okay, let me just not say my company, I'll say my manager specifically has been super, super supportive. So I've got a great relationship with my manager anyway, so that really helps. But also I think it's just being able to put yourself in a position where people understand your situation and people don't usually understand unless you communicate with them. So for me, from the jump, I told them, guys, this is what my home situation looks like. This is what I'm dealing with at home. And I think that allowed them to have a clearer understanding of what my day-to-day -day looks like so when when it comes to being flexible with my hours there are times when I get scheduled for meetings and I'm like okay I can't attend this meeting because I've got a live lesson going on at the same time and I obviously my child is very small he can't learn independently just yet he needs a lot of support he needs guidance so I've had to decline meetings and then I just as long as you support you know you clearly communicate with your team I found it very easy to navigate those tricky situations so yeah lucky for me obviously so excellent and Juan, so what's been your or oh, a challenge that you've been through during this period? Not necessarily just work-based, but anything. Um, 
well just being at home in London like Chang would say like it can be quite tight in the house so I have younger twin sisters so that they don't understand when I'm working like they want to spend more time with me uh, so it's been a little bit hard especially starting a new job a, a new job at home sitting in my room not really knowing who I'm supposed to know in terms of reaching out for help and you can't really get a lot of the cues on video via Zoom like it's just not possible so actually being able to be immersed within the company has proven to be quite challenging for me in terms of like developing and also meeting people so it's been hard but I am managing so far slowly I do appreciate networks that we have within Intuit like the African Ancestry Network which I joined I was like oh my god uh, like I grew up with black people sign me up like <laughs> why didn't nobody tell me so that's been really great to have like like-minded people people who had like a similar experience or challenge in the past just really being able to know that I can lean on them and a lot of them are obviously a little bit more mature than me I can be experiencing some things and not know how to respond but now I do know there's a number of people I can reach out to who are open to help me out and that's been really reassuring and very comforting in such challenging times. Fantastic. Well, ladies, thank you so much. I won't take up any more of your lunchtime. Um, thank you for taking part in this. And I'm so happy that I got to connect with you guys as Zambian women. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the office soon, you know? I know. Counting down. I think 21st July is like the deadline, isn't it? For the office. Yeah. Yes. Keep our fingers crossed that, I'm that good. Day and then I'm coming back home. <laughs> and I've got this job. <laughs> I'm done. But anyway, guys, if you're going to be seeing this on International Women's Day, I just want to wish every woman out there an International Women's Day. And step, what was what, what? What are we challenging? Challenge. Choose, Choose the challenge. challenge Choose you know? the challenge. I'm Have still figuring out. <laughs> I'm still figuring out what I'm going to choose to challenge, but I will challenge. I know that I'm going to challenge it regardless. I'll figure it out and we'll challenge yeah. whatever barriers we face. Happy International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. Truth to challenge. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank You're you welcome, so Tanya. Thank Bye. you. Take care. Bye.